Hello, my name's Heidi Barnes and I'm with Keysight Technologies and I'm here today at the EMC plus SIPI conference and it's a pleasure to uh, talk with Patrick Hindle for the SI Journal and uh, show him what we have to demonstrate here today for, from Keysight Technologies. Uh, I work with my instrument partners. I'm actually doing a lot more power integrity simulation, but with our EMI receivers, you can quickly find um, EMI problems, like when you turn a motor on on your printed circuit board. But if you actually have to debug, uh, you need to actually dig into how is that electrical design working, uh, what is causing your EMI noise problem, and that is where simulation comes in. And I have here uh, today, we're showcasing um, our power integrity EM simulation tool in ADS. ADS is our flagship electrical simulation software, and PI Pro, Power Integrity Pro, uh, for EM simulation, uh, lets you bring in a printed circuit board, multi-layer uh, printed circuit board. It's net-based. You can quickly set up your simulation based upon selecting a power rail of choice, um, selecting your input port connector, uh, and uh, identifying the sync. Uh, FPGA load or whatever it might be. What's new for our tool is that we now do conducted EMI and radiated EMI. We've been able to add a very simplified uh, switching model uh, that allows us to provide that dynamic source which is needed for looking at what kind of co conducted EMI you might have. So we're looking at the um, switching DC to DC regulator and we have a nice simplified uh, switch model so we can see what happens when we turn on that DC regulator uh, uh, DC to DC um, excitation, we can see what sort of conducted EMI and radiated EMI come from that printed circuit board. And if you're asking where do I get that model for this switching uh, regulator, how do I get the spectral content, well that's where measurement comes into play. And what we've uh, been able to show is that by simply turning on our switching regulator and using an E-field probe, we can integrate the response of an E-field probe to get the pulse width modulation time domain signal and the uh, rising and falling edges of that DC to DC, DC to DC converter pulse width modulation. And then that spectral content, that rising and falling edge, goes into our simulator and out comes our conducted EMI simulation. And then that's what uh, co correlates with measurement.